Yeah, good morning, everybody. I hope uh, you can all hear me. I'm testing out my new microphone here. Um, it's been an amazing energy over the last while, uh, leading from the connection to the solstices and, of course, the, the full moon lunar eclipse uh, that we all experienced just before the solstice was already a great sign from uh, the heavens, from creation, that uh, something is happening. And um, so we gathered down at Nurduk Beach for the lunar eclipse with a beautiful group of people. Uh, and the the union between the the earth, the moon, and the sun created a amazing deep, deep red, blood red moon, which was so much about the the, the end of a cycle, uh, the blood, the death, um, and of course letting go. Namai tsu to namai. So, carrying on the theme from the, the full moon lunar eclipse, uh, just before the solstice, we then entered into the solstice, which is, of course, this amazing uh, energy that covers the earth, a massive yin and yang of light and shadow down south. Uh, we obviously are in the dark winter months and up north, they're in the summer months. Uh, but if you had to look at the earth, it would be a perfect yin and yang symbol as the sun traveled around or as the earth traveled around the sun, it would create this incredible balance of extreme dark and extreme light. And uh, the solstice, winter solstice here in South Africa rose up over the Drakenstein Mountains over there. And um, it's again, we came together with a wonderful grouping of people. And this was all about the returning of the sun, uh, returning of the sun of God, the rebirth of the sun of creation. Uh, and of course, that's now going to travel back towards the south, uh, towards the spring. So it's always been a ceremony that marked a new cycle a new beginning, a new year. And um, today we have the new moon. So it happened late, early this morning. I haven't got the exact time, but basically the, the um, new moon will be rising with the sun this morning. Um, and uh, they're going to be in unison and they're going to travel together through the day and then set again. So again, there's this incredible balance between the divine masculine, and the divine feminine at this time. And um, so much a part of this time is symbolizing a rebirth, not only from the cycle uh, or seasonal cycle side of things, but I believe also in the, the actual consciousness of humanity itself, its collective self. So the seeding of intentions collectively is something that really has to happen now in order to pave the way for our collective uh, path into the future, into the now. And the, uh, the storm that we've been uh, weathering energetically has helped all of us to, to refine our spiritual core, our God center, uh, our placement in the universal choir. Uh, as you all know, I always speak about us being uh, pulsating shades of light. In other words, literally the song of light. And um, we are part of creation. Uh, our great creator, the, the very initial 
song of this universal choir, the very first note of this universal choir. Some may want to see it as the voice of God that went out and created uh, creation. And here we are, all of us, as a part of that creation. And I, for this new moon, I feel it's important as an as a energetic collective to remember that and to reconnect with our Mother Earth, our Father Sky, and our placement in that. And to realize that ultimately we were born into creation as, as children of God, as the, or the goddess. <laughs> um, so um, the mother, father, God of creation, the song of light uh, has given birth to all of us. And uh, we have this divine right to be here. And uh, we are not really, uh, we do not need to be dictated to by anybody as to how we, we run our life. So many people are talking about owning your sovereignty. Um, for me, it's just remembering our divine placement uh, in creation and, and honoring and respecting all nature and, and, and all life. So I'm just talking through all these things because this is the time now with the new moon to seed these intentions for ourselves and uh, for humanity as a collective. The planetary alignments are, have been absolutely phenomenal, the lead up to the solstice and up to now. So it's almost culminated now on the, on the solstice and this new moon. And I'm no great, I'm not a, 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 an astrologer by profession. I read things shamanically, energetically uh, from the nature that surrounds me. So for me, and I guess for any other indigenous uh, uh, shaman or uh, spiritual leader would have been watching the heavens because they tell us, they give us some indication as to what's coming our way. So most certainly the, um, the, the lunar, uh, the red moon lunar eclipse was something absolutely phenomenal. The equinox, again, an extremely powerful turning of the sun, whether you're in the north or the south, uh, symbolizing the end of a cycle or the beginning of a new cycle. And now we have this new moon also at the same time and all the planets. So this morning I was up early. I've been up actually since about half past three because the energies of the new moon are extremely powerful and just sort of tend to, to affect me quite strongly. And uh, we've got all these planets that, that literally rise up and in a, in a straight line like this. And they've been doing this for the last two, two over two months, uh, but you cannot miss them. So uh, we have Venus, we have Jupiter, we have Mars, we have uh, uh, Neptune and we have Saturn all in a, in a line like this. And of course, we also had the moon in it as well uh, for the solstice. So when you, when you look up to the heavens and you see all these visible planets, these are not hidden. These are like very, very clear, um, uh, at least from, from Saturn, Jupiter, uh, Mars, and Venus. You can't miss them. They, they were actually standing up in a, in a straight row like this. And uh, everyone would read them in their own way. Obviously, we have Western astrology and Vedic astrology, but they all, all astrologers are certainly uh, um, telling their story, their, their insight that this is a new beginning. This is where we claim back our power. This is where we can co-create uh, our way into the future, and we need to do it now. So for me, that was the staff. It was the stick that says, okay, here, the star stick. We, a new journey has begun. Um, so with this new moon, the, journey, the new journey has begun. The new cycle has begun for, for me as an individual being, and I believe also very, very much for the, the collective consciousness um, of, of all humanity. And um, the, uh, 
the way forward is a collective one. So as individuals, the, you know, the, the stage has been set. Basically, the stage is set now, and we the, we the actors, we the playwriters, have to now get together uh, actively to become a part of this new, new play, the new act, uh, and to define how we're going to, to decorate <laughs> that, that stage, if you like. Uh, so it's like having a new piece of clay uh, and we, we each individually throwing it down, but collectively we have some uh, idea of how we would like to form that. And uh, some of the, the core spiritual uh, um, heartfelt energies that are going into this new shaping of our human beingness, our individual beingness, as we, we move forward individually and collectively. So from my side, it's very much about a heartfelt love and respect for all nature and for all life. And to hold hope in our hearts for the way forward and to, to own our individual freedom to be and to live uh, as children of creation and to govern ourselves firstly if we want to allow others to to govern us i, I sure hope that uh, as we do that we we help shape those who do help shape and form those laws if they be laws that you want to be followed by. Otherwise, uh, there is room for, for new ways to self-govern ourselves as individuals and, of course, to, to self-govern uh, our, our families and to self-govern our, our communities as well. So these are many, many uh, ways that we can collectively work together and it is the hundred monkey effect. So we, we have to be the collective. The collective has to shape uh, the stage the, going forward. Um, so if the collective are wanting, the majority of the collective is, is thinking this, then that's going to happen. If the majority of our beings are, are thinking this over here, then this is going to happen. So it really is up to us to, to know that we are the ones shaping the future. We are the ones that we've been been waiting for. So this morning, I offer you all uh, an opportunity to join me as we greet the sun uh, as it comes up over the, the distant horizon. And in that moment to, uh, and it doesn't really matter if it's now, right now, or if you're somewhere else in the world, but today, today is the, as the moon, the new moon is starting to grow, this is the time to seize the opportunity uh, to seed these intentions from your heart for humanity, for the planet, as we collectively pave our way into the future. So uh, going forward, I also wanted to, to just let you know um with regards to Ishikwa, Chief Ishikwa, uh, he thanks all of you who offered donations. He was sick. Uh, he is now doing much better. He's been sent home, but he is still very unstable. Blood sugars are not right. Uh, he will be going back to the, the hospital again in a, in a few months to, for more checkups. Um, and he is really hoping to get back to embracing his culture and promoting the indigenous lifeways of the, the Khoisan peoples here in South Africa. So keep your prayers flowing to, to Ishikwa, and he sends much uh, gratitude to all of you who have lent your support as donations, but also your prayers uh, he has felt and he feels held and supported. So I also want to thank all of you who 
uh, are offering support to Ishikwa. Much love and, and blessings and gratitude from me for, for that, that help. It's, uh, it's definitely helped his family tremendously. So going forward, uh, before we greet the sun, I also wanted to let you know I have two journeys that are going to run this year. One is called the Harmonic Resonance Journey. It's a circle dancing in sacred sites around uh, South Africa, the Garden Route in Cape Town, Bushman's Kloof. And then I have a big cross-country journey uh, with a be beautiful group of people that have come together. We're going to Sordilo Hills, the sacred mountain of the gods in Botswana, the Serpent Cave, a very powerful place, uh, Namibia, and then Zimbabwe, a number of the sacred sites in Zimbabwe, and then down to South Africa and some of the Venda sacred sites as well. There are spaces available on both these journeys. And um, from the, for the first journey that's just in South Africa, just to let you know, South Africa is now open for business uh, with regards to COVID, no more COVID regulations. So if you want to, there is a link to these two tours. If you want to join me on any of those, please get in touch. But for now, we're going to turn our attention to the sun. I'm going to uh, um, do a Hopi sun greeting and I'm going to teach it to you and you are welcome to join in. And uh, this is um, from Roy Littleson, a messenger of the Hopi Indian people uh, who spent time here in South Africa and I was honored to spend time with him as well. And uh, the reason why I've chosen this Hopi prayer sun greeting is that it has to do with honoring the sacred feminine, uh, the womb, which is of course now very much uh, in the astrology, cancer, uh, very much represents the family, the womb, creative space, which is very much what we are doing and what I've been speaking about. And uh, it also honors the sun, the fire of life, the creative force, uh, and how these two energies come together and create all this beautiful creation, all this love that surrounds us. And um, so it's taking the, um, the love, the, so we create the womb, the, 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 uh, the sacred yoni, we face the sun, we allow the sun to come in, and then we bring it up, we connect with the, with the triangle to the upward pointing solar symbol, the masculine, and then we take all that love that's been shared with us and given to us in our life, and we gather it up with the wings of the eagle. We bring it up and we share it with the world. And the, the sounding that we do with that is like this. It goes, oh, and then you capturing the sun in the triangle. And we share it with the world, with the wings of the eagle. So it goes again. I'll do it for you. And that's how we, we do it. So I'm sure we're very close. And I'm just uh, connecting with the sun. The ancient peoples would all light a stick to encourage the sun to come up warmly, especially here in the winter time. So the sun, the fire of all, life has always been very much revered. I'm just going to check. Everything is still working here. Great. Okay. So, you can join me. Am I? Two, go up. Two, go up. Am I? Oh, great mother, father, God, we give thanks for this day. I'm most grateful all that has been shared with us. May you help us to gather up all the love that we've experienced and been given by you, 
our great creator and share it with the world and with those we love and care for. Namai Tuti.
Oh, great spirit, great creator, mother, father, God, we thank you for this day, for this new beginning. We ask that you help us to hold in our hearts a clear intention, a new beginning, a new way, a new path forward individually, collectively, for humanity. One that holds a heartfelt love and respect for all nature and for all life. One that, one that honors all humanity all individuals for their place in the universal choir, no one exempt, everyone a valid being of creation who has the right to live his life free here on our mother earth, to wonder in her beauty and her creation. and to share their love with their friends and their community freely. So to the Great Spirit, the fire, the fire of life, we see your light, your warmth shining brightly today. We thank you for all that you co-create with our Mother Earth and all the life you bring to light this day. A golden opportunity you spread before us, a path of light to walk upon and to walk with and to sing with, to share with. Full the sparkles of joy and happiness and life. We thank you for your light, your hope that you bring us this day. We smile with you. We thank you. To the great Mother Earth, for all the life that you nurture and you hold, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, we thank you. For all the children you take care of, including us, how you hold us, how you provide for us, you keep us safe. We are your children, and we thank you that we can be here this day and walk upon you in all your glory. And to the great spirit of the oceans, the waters, waters of the land, the sea, the rivers, the waters in the clouds, the rain, your spirit, your water, we feel it within us. We are one with you and we thank you for all the life that you sustain here on our mother earth, for your spirit that flows through us and all nature, all living beings. the womb waters of creation. We honor you, we thank you. We are one with you. And to the great spirit of the wind, the breath of life, we breathe with you this day. We thank you for our breath and for the winds of change, the winds that carry the seasons across our Mother Earth and the energetic waves of consciousness that flow through the collective. We blow our breath 
our life force. Our spirit flows with you. This day, we are most grateful. And to all the ancestors of this land, and to our own ancestors and our families that have passed, we also acknowledge your spirit within us. We are here because of you. We thank you for our life. And for all we have learned and experienced from you. Individually, collectively. And to the animal kingdom, the animals of the land and the sea and the sky, we acknowledge your spirit that you share with us, your life force that you share with us, your song. We are graced to be able to share with you here on our Mother Earth this day. And to all the plant kingdom, the plants in the sea, the plants in the valleys, in the plains, the great trees, the fragrant herbs, the medicinal and edible plants, for all that you share with us, your beauty, your sustenance, we are truly most grateful. And we thank you for this day and for this moment. To all our spirit guides, all the nature spirits, we acknowledge your, spirit, your presence and your spirit. We are one with you. And to the song of the stars, your lights in the sky, our guardians through the night, we thank you for your guidance and for your spirit and for your song. We are truly blessed to be a part of this great creation. For all this, we are truly most grateful. We thank you for this day, and for this moment. That we can be one with you and see our heartfelt intentions here into this golden path of light and hope for all humanity. For this, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Namai. Tsu. Goa. Tsu. Goa. Namae, Namae, Ya, Namae. Yo, ho, ho, Tsui. Namae. Tsu. So thank you all for being a part of it, Miss Sparky. Come on, girl. Am I? Just wanted to bless all of you uh, for today, and thank you for sharing your intention into this day, no matter where you are, or whenever you do this, today or tomorrow, as the moon slowly, slowly starts to grow. Uh, add your heartfelt intention into the collective stage. Uh, let us co-create something filled with much love, much hope, and much joy. Blessings.